What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to discuss the new rumored DJI VTOL fixed wing aircraft. Now this would obviously join their industrial lineup of drones, and again, it's just a rumor, but it is coming from Osita over on Twitter. He's a very reputable source, as he basically gave us the Mavic Air, its specs, and its design before it was released. So on my channel, I like to cover all technology, mainly drones, obviously the ones that take high quality pictures and videos, but sometimes it's fun to branch out to some other things and see what's going on in the tech world. So this right here is what the new DJI VTOL fixed wing aircraft will look like. And while that's a mouthful to say, I'm sure they'll give it a shorter name like they did with the Phantom, Mavic, or Inspire series. Now let's take a step back here. Some of you may be wondering what VTOL is, and I'm sort of familiar just through watching movies and playing video games, but I did some research. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. So in this case, a VTOL aircraft is going to be able to take off vertically and land vertically, and then in this case, with this new DJI drone, it's going to be able to fly straight with its fixed wings. The benefit to having an aircraft that can take off and land vertically is if space is limited. So the best thing about a drone is that you don't need like a runway to take off. You can just simply go up and then fly around and then come down and land again in some pretty tight spaces. In terms of manned aerial vehicles, I've seen two different kinds of VTOL aircraft. This first one right here is probably the most common. You may recognize it. It almost looks like a helicopter, but those propellers actually rotate to propel the aircraft forward. Another example of this is on a jet where the engine rotates downwards to slowly bring the aircraft up and down. Okay, so enough about that. You guys get it. This drone is able to take off up and down and then use its wings to fly forward. Now what I want to do is highlight some of the specs on this rumored VTOL fixed wing aircraft. And again, this is just rumored. These aren't official specs. It could just be based off of a prototype, but they do seem a little bit underwhelming to me. So first of all, I want to start off with the price, which comes in at $50 thousand dollars that is a lot of cash we'll be able to determine whether we think it's worth it or not by the end of this video after we go over some of the different specs next is the dimensions so the wingspan is 2380 millimeters and the length of the drone or in this case i guess the aircraft from the front to the back is 1300 millimeters now for reference a phantom 4 pro measured from motor to motor is roughly 380 millimeters just to give you an idea of the size of this aircraft now let's get into some of the flight specs uh, so first of all the maximum takeoff weight is 6.5 kilograms the maximum flight height is 200 meters the maximum speed is 75 kilometers per hour hour the maximum flight time is 60 minutes and the maximum payload weight is 0.8 kilograms so this is where things start to get a little bit underwhelming for me for a drone of this price point and this size. The first red flag is the maximum flight height, which comes in at 200 meters. That's about 656 feet, and in the United States, you can't fly above 400 feet. Although with a drone of this caliber, I'm sure you could get some sort of waiver to go above 400 feet. Anyway, with the Phantom 4 Pro, that is definitely able to fly above 656 feet. I mean, these drones are pretty powerful. In fact, on DJ's website, it says that the max service ceiling for the Phantom 4 Pro is 6,000 meters. Now I guess sort of taking a step back and looking at the Phantom 4 Pro and comparing it to this VTOL fixed wing aircraft, they're two very different pieces of equipment and maybe this drone is not able to fly above 650 feet or 656 feet because of the actual equipment or the actual parts on it, uh, but again it just seems a little bit underwhelming to me. Another red flag is the maximum payload of 0.8 kilograms. Now I know that this drone only has four motors and I know that it looks like it could be used to do some sort of surveillance with the camera on the front, but I would love to see what DJ could come up with if they made a drone that was specifically made for lifting things. The final spec that I want to highlight is the flight time of 60 minutes. That's probably the one thing that stands out to me and the one thing that kind of puts it ahead of any other drone out there right now. An hour of flight time is a ridiculous amount of time up in the air. And even the little infographic that Osita tweeted out, it said that it's going to have a 12,000 milliamp hour battery. That's a big battery. Finally, as far as range is concerned, we're looking at 20 kilometers over an LB2 slash 4G LTE network. Now, each drone from DJI has their own transmission system. So, for example, the Mavic Pro has OcuSync, the Phantom Series has LightBridge, and looking at something like the Mavic Air or the Spark, those operate off of Wi-Fi. So, it seems that with this VTOL fixed-wing aircraft, it will operate on a transmission system that goes over cellular data. Now, don't get me wrong, 20 kilometers is a pretty good range. It's about 12 and a half miles, and it's definitely a step up from the Mavic Pro that's able to fly 7 kilometers. But again, from a drone this size, I would seriously expect some longer range, especially paired up with that 60-minute flight time. This would be perfect for some serious long-range missions. 
So that basically does it for all the specs that we know so far of the DJI VTOL fixed wing aircraft. Here again is that quick list that I made up for you guys if you're interested in reading over the specs one more time. I really wish we had some more information like the cameras available, the exact weight, although I would guess it's pretty close to 6.5 kilograms, which is that maximum takeoff weight. And I'd also love to know just what people are using this thing for. Let me know down in the comments what do you think that this drone will fit in sort of some person's business. I mean, right now I think the Matrice drones are like perfect, maybe at a little bit more range to them but again what do you guys think that this is really going to do another thing that i quickly want to mention take a look at this picture one more time the dji vtol fixed wing aircraft it just doesn't look like something dji would design it looks bulky it looks awkward it looks rough i mean their designs are usually so aerodynamic and i just i don't know it just doesn't seem like something they would design Anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated if I find out any more information on this VTOL fixed wing aircraft. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.